Hi, welcome to Crochet is In. So I wanted to do a comparison review of the Furls Crochet Hook and the Susan Bates Hook. And so they look really similar. The... <laughs> Sorry, things in the background. All right, let's see if this can get in focus. The one thing that I notice about the furls is that it has a bigger gap than the Susan Bates. And so it's almost deeper, but the angles are very similar. And obviously the handle size is different. So that's the big thing. Is it gonna be ergonomic? Is the Susan Bates ergonomic hook gonna be ergonomic enough. Now if you have hand strain like I do many occasion then when I analyze my own hand strain it's from the bottom of the hook. So when I hold the hook it's this finger here and then this is so fat <laughs> and plumpy. I love it. So when my hands there, it's my fingers aren't closed. My fingers aren't coming together. I'm not holding it tight. My fingers are are loose. They're far apart. So when I'm working with a furl, so let's just go ahead and start something. Then I don't feel like my fingers are getting close together or anything. And my hand tends to be more in this relaxed position. So that's why I like frills because my, ten my, my fingers are relaxed. So let's go ahead and try that with the Susan Bates. Now I have not tried the Susan Bates hook. Okay, so this is the first time I've tried the Susan Bates hook. I have no idea what I'm gonna have, what experience I'm going to have. Okay, so right away, my fingers are closer together just a comparison. When I hold the hook, my fingers are like that. And when I hold this hook, my fingers are closer together. My pinky wants to wrap around this. My pinky doesn't want to wrap around this so much. It's, it's just bent, but it's not like I'm wanting to wrap it around. Here, I'm wanting to wrap it around. So that's the big difference already. Um, ergonomically, yeah, I can feel my hands like way more tense. It just really is like in, immediately if you have hand tension and you're thinking, you know, for all is a little bit expensive. It's not expensive. It's worth it because I can tell already and I'm glad I got this <laughs> little bit on sale. Um, God, already my hand is already feeling it. Because my finger is like this. So let me just do, show you that. My finger is bent, my hands together. My fingers in the back are kind of cramped up like this. And I feel the tension across my tendons, right just there and now. So here, do you see how my tendons are relaxed? And I'm holding the hook. Let's do it again. So I'm holding it. You can even see the difference. It's like, it's like immediate where you can see how your hand is going to hold the hook. Because here it's, it's strain on these fingers immediately. Wow. I really thought about that. It's a strain on the, it's just strain. Here my hand is relaxed. And here my hand is trying to hold on to this little tiny piece. So basically this is not much to me. It's not an improvement of even having this piece at all than having the regular hook. Now, the one thing I noticed is when I went to take off the tag, it's left a sticky residue. So I, I had a hard time taking off the tag as well. Okay, so all in all, do I think you can substitute a Susan Bates for a Farls? No way. No way. Not at all. 
Um, do I think the experience from the Susan Bates is a better quality than the Furls? I'm just thinking about that right now. Well, immediately I noticed that the furls are smoother. The yarn is going in and out way faster. This is way smoother. And this metal from furls is way smoother. So I just feel like, I guess this is a nice choice for someone who doesn't have hand fatigue. Um, However, if you're looking for a true ergonomic solution, you're looking for a nice experience, you have hand fatigue or some sort of hand issue and you really want to enjoy your crochet, and really, really, really just want to be able to crochet for an extended amount of time, I personally can say that this hook has allowed me to do that and i find it to be way worth it there are several um sales that furls has um during the year and so you can get a discount on these hooks for ergonomic i recommend the furls that's what you're looking for and a nice smooth crochet experience in my opinion in my experience and since i've been a, since the beginning i've been using furls I recommend these compared to any other econo um, ergonomic hook that's out there. This one is the best. And um, I do use the Yarnology from um, Hobby Lobby as well. However, this one is truly the, the best ergonomic hook that I have used. So that's my review. I don't even see how this is ergonomic at all. I, I don't understand it. It's just basically a regular Susan Bates hook with a little piece of plastic on it. And I don't find it to be comfortable. This plastic actually isn't, um, it isn't spongy either. It's kind of hard. To me, I don't find it soft. I don't find it foamy. I guess that's what I want to say. It's just hard to me. So even though this is a hard piece, it is ergonomically designed and very well well designed. So there's my, my review. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like.